Alright guys, so a lot of news has come out for the next Wolverine movie, which will be called Logan. We've, we've learned about, you know, more about the story, we've learned more about, um, you know, the, who the real villain is, even though we kind of figured one villain will be in the story, as well as something I think we all kind of figured would be in the film to begin with. So I'm just, I want to go over some things over uh, throughout this film. So yeah, I find it really weird that we're just going to call this final Wolverine movie Logan. I mean, I, yeah, I know, that's, that's Logan's name. Well, his real name's James Howlett, but uh, yeah, that's the name he goes by. But yeah, it just feels kind of weird that, <laughs> that look, that, um, that we're out of, you know, we've had X-Men Origins, Wolverine, The Wolverine, and now we're ending with Logan. It's kind, of, it's kind of a weird, um, decrease of character, and I understand that this is going to be a very much character piece and does have story elements of Old Man Logan, um, which I'm still, I'm still kind of like, wouldn't you need the whole Marvel Universe for that one? But I guess Mark Millar was like, nah, we'll just use X-Men characters for that. Okay, whatever. Um... I am looking forward to this, you know, um, despite making, kind of making fun of the title name, and yeah, the poster does look like something, it does look exactly like the Schindler, Schindler's List poster. No, really, when you compare the two, um, it looks, it's the X-Men version of the Schindler's List poster. It's, it's really weird. <laughs> but no, I am really interested in this film. Um, it's gonna be um, interesting to see the where the X-Men films go now that Hugh Jackman is gone, and I guess that, yeah, I guess they, they really don't want to do any recasting, because, yeah, J um, uh, <laughs> Hugh Jackman, almost said James Howlett, <laughs> Hugh Jackman really personified that character. He really made that, you know, when you really think about it, in live-action films, we've had a bunch of Spider-Man, a bunch of Superman, and a, a bunch of Superman, and we've had a bunch of Batman, a um, bunch of actors play those characters, and several recasts on in several other show in movies. But when you think about it, Wolverine is one of the few, you know, that has consistently been there. I mean, yeah, there's been others like Captain America, you know, well, if you count the Red Brown movies, then it's been twice, but still. <laughs> there's been one Iron Man, um, one Thor, technically, um, a few a few Hulks here and there, but really, you know, um, Hugh Jackman is one of the many consistent um, actors who have not been recast in their superhero roles, and he was like, he's been there since the beginning, like, since superhero films were really starting to branch out, you know, um, yeah. So, I think it's interesting that we are, you know, rather than decide to go, oh, we're gonna recast Wolverine, no, they're gonna be, they're, Fox is gonna have the balls to go, yeah, we're going to stop, the, you know, we're not going to go look for another Wolverine and just kill him off and move on interesting way to go, because you'd think they would have gone that, because Wolverine's the most, you know, pretty much the most popular X-Men out there, so I find it interesting, and I know I keep using that word a lot, but it is, it really is interesting to see that, you know, they are deciding to move on, you know, further without, you know, Wolverine among the, among those films. Now, the uh, let's move on to the other thing, that is, and I'm sorry for saying the word interesting so many times, it's just that my mind sometimes goes on repeat. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so continuing onward, continuing onward with these, um, continuing onward with the uh, with these films. Um, where was I going with this? Continuing onward with um, with the with this, the rest of the news for the films. Yes, we are getting X twenty three in the movie. That is correct. We are. It's, we kind of, I kind of figured, and I'm pretty sure everyone else did too, that we were gonna get X-23 in this film. I was, I was not shocked when it officially said, yeah, X-23 is gonna be in the film, and it's gonna be a young X-23, like a young girl. So, um, yeah, I think it's cool that we are getting X-23, because rather than recast, just do what Marvel's doing, and just have Laura be, um, Wolverine. You know, that makes, that kind of makes sense, really. Um, and just kind of do that. <laughs> Um, I do think that it's cool that we are getting Laura finally, because that was somewhere I really wanted to see them go in the X-Men films. And again, if you're not going to, you know, recast Hugh Jackman for the role, why not just have the all-new Wolverine part of it? Um, that would, you know, I feel like that's a logical choice. Um, so yeah, I think it's cool that we're, you know, a lot of this film may t it looks like, um, from this poster that it's going to focus a lot 
judging, I mean, this film, excuse me, a lot of this film is going to revolve around Wolverine, you know, Logan and Lara. A lot of this is going to focus between them, and it's going to leave with Lara being the new Wolverine. And I think that, you know, eventually becoming that character, because she's very young, unless they fast forward at the end of the film to her being a t to a teenager, and now she's kind of uh, in the, co or like, um, she's taken on the Wolverine identity. I don't know if we'll see the costume, but still... Um, I also find it, it I find it cool that we're finally getting an R-rated Wolverine movie. I think this is, you know, because of the success of Deadpool, and I think this is something the fans have really wanted. I myself have really wanted an R-rated Wolverine movie. So I think it's cool that they're, fi you know, for Wol Wolverine's final film, it's going to be R-rated, so yay! Um... So, yeah, I think it's cool that we are getting our rated film. Um, it looks like a very personal story. And I'm always for... Because Wolverine, when you think about it, he's, not, he's more than just snick, snick, sm uh, snick, stab, 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 bub, bub, bub kind of character. There's a lot to him. There's a lot to him. There's a lot more to him than that. And, yeah, I'm kind of thinking that... I've also heard rumors that they took some details from... I don't know if this is true or not, but I know they took a lot from Old Man Logan, but they took some inspiration from Death of Wolverine by Charles Scholl. I've heard that that, you know, that was one of the factors to write into this script, so it may be a combination of the two. I wouldn't doubt that, if that is what you're going to do, of killing off Wolverine. So, yeah. So let's talk about some of the villains they have talked about. So, yes, here's another character we kind of figured would be in the, ne in Log in the Logan movie, Mr. Sinister. What's interesting, though, is that they've said he's not the main villain. I think it's really cool. Uh, now, obviously, you guys know that Mr. Sinister is not, you know, he's my favorite X-Men villain and one of my favorite Marvel villains in general. So, to have him finally appear is going to be really awesome. I'm kind of hoping that he gets a, you know, the big 90s costume. I, uh, I love that costume, but I don't know if that will work. They may go, like, with the, what Karen Gillan did in his run with X-Men, where they gave him, like, the, char like the, dark, like the Victorian-style costume, and I'm, I'd be okay with that. I just don't want him to be, like, this, bo this boring guy in a suit, to, you know, in a business suit, and it just has the facial expressions. I really don't want that. I, like, the point about it is Mr. Sinister is that he enjoys being eccentric at points. Um, and he's so evil, but he loves being eccentric about it. So, at least give him the Victorian suit. That's all I ask. Um, anyway, so... Mr. Sinister will be in the film, but he is not going to be the main f the main villain. He'll be a, a factor, and he'll obviously be the factor to create X-23, which, again, that's not really far-fetched from the comic books, because it's always been hinted, it's never been fully explained, but it's always been hinted at that Mr. Sinister had a hand in creating the uh, uh, creating X twenty three alongside Weapon X, it it's been there. It's been hinted at throughout some comics here and there, but it's never been fully you know set out there. So I think yeah, that makes a lot of sense that you know Sinister is in here. I'm pretty sure since he won't be the main villain, they won't kill him off. They'll just showcase him here, and that is really good because as you guys know, I've always kind of figured he's not really much. He is fought Wolverine, but Sinister's been. If you really want to put him against one X Men. Have him against, you know, the the X-Men, the X-Man he really has it out for, Cyclops. Yeah, because he's mostly Scott Summers' archenemy. So have him in here and then have him come back in another film or X-Men-centric and have him be Scott's main enemy. Because he's more interested in Scott Summers' DNA. But let's talk about the real main villain. And the real main villain will be Donald Pierce. Yeah, the main villain of Wolverine will be Donald Pierce, another X-Men villain who, if you don't know who Donald Pierce is, Donald Pierce is this human cyborg type character who really has it out for mutants. He was a member of the Hellfire Club, and he also was a... He's also the leader of this group called the Reavers, which are these human cyborg who have, like, in some cases they have, like, sentinel tech in them, but they're mostly just human cyborgs out to kill people, and it looks like the Reavers, it, uh, with Donald Pierce... Yeah, with Donald Pierce in the ma as the main focus will be the main villain of the story. Again, it's kind of interesting that they didn't go with an X-Men villain, but they did. there is rumors that it does look like, yeah, Sabretooth will be in this film. I'm cool with that. I'm still surprised no Omega Red. Still no Omega Red. You know, the one X-Men, the one Wolverine villain we have yet to see in these films. Maybe he'll show up, and my, fr my friend Jason and I were kind of talking about all these this news, and he kind of theorized that maybe they'll make... 
um, Omega Red a member of the Reavers, which I'm kind of... Because here's the thing. Omega Red's really a villain. He's kind of like the... Russian version of Wolverine. That's what he was kind of what that the Soviet Union used this stuff called carburantium, which is a knockoff of adamantium, to make Om- Omega Red. So he's he is a mutant. He does have mutant. He is a mutant, but he was given carburantium because his main ability is that he can basically drain the life. He he has the like these death pheromones and can drain the life out of people. So that was his mutant ability. That and the Soviet Union just decided to give him like the knockoff version of adamantium. I don't know if they'll decide to change his origin. I mean, they've changed stuff before in the X Men in the X Men films, like having Riptide and At- Azazel as Sebastian Shaw's Hellfire Club. Okay, so I I wouldn't put it past. I while I wouldn't want them to make um, him a you know Omega Red like a cyborg type character. I wouldn't put it past them, and I don't I don't really would be against it. But I prefer if they didn't. But whatever. So yeah, um, I find it again interesting that Donald Pierce will be the villain because I didn't think they would do that. I didn't think they would. I thought they would go with a with a X Men with a major Wolverine villain. But there is talk of again, like I said, Sabretooth possibly being in this film. So you never know. Um, I, but I do think it's cool that Donald Pierce and the Reavers do look like they'll be the main focus of, of uh, the enemy. But I, I mean, the, they'll be the main enemies of Wolverine. And, yeah, I am looking for, like, a cool stabbing match between Logan and Don- and uh, Pierce. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, all in all, I am very much looking forward to this film. It's going to be Hugh Jackman's last hurrah as Wolverine, and I am super excited to see X-23, Mr. Sinister, Donald Pierce. A lot of characters I've wanted in X-Men films for a long time, basically. I'm finally getting all the X-Men characters I've wanted in an X-Men movie. So good. I mean, yeah, it's in a Wolverine movie, so yeah, I'm I'm totally fine. I'm at peace with this. Hopefully, it'll be good. Knock on wood. But yeah, so you guys tell me, what do you guys think of all this news that come out for for the film Logan? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Just comment below. Let me know. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.